This song I'm going to sing for you is a song that I wrote a couple of years ago um, about a friend of mine. I don't know, when you're in school, you kind of don't really come across this sort of thing. Well, I didn't. Um, I was really good mates with a guy going through school. Um, he was kind of my friend. We used to go to youth group here together. We weren't here, but we were somewhere else. Um, he used to hang out with me. He was crazy. He had heaps of fun doing stuff. And he was a guy, actually, who through his kind of teenage years came to church sometimes, didn't come to church sometimes. He kind of was in and out of um, stuff. And we had a lot of conversations during that time about Jesus and about where Jesus was in his life. And by the time he finished school, um, he was a Christian and he loved Jesus heaps. Um, and he loved Jesus being his king. And then one morning in January 2000, I don't know, 2004 it might have been, um, I got a phone call on my phone from another friend from school who called me to tell me that my mate had died in a motorbike accident that night, the night before. And I was gutted um, because, you know, you don't, I've never come across that. And all my, at that time, all my grandparents were still alive. All my friends were still living. I'd never really been impacted by someone dying before. And, and I was, that was huge for me. And for kind of that week, I was gutted by the whole thing. And then um, at Adam's funeral, I went and kind of after it and just thinking about stuff, I was so excited. Excited, maybe that's the wrong word, but I saw such a hope for Adam. Because he was friends with Jesus and he knew his Bible and, and I knew from the Bible that Adam didn't die and that was it. Adam died and he died and now lives with God forever. And in fact, Adam is loving it. Adam's not looking back at our world and going, oh, I miss Dan. He's up there, he's going, I love where I am. And um, I kind of wrote this song about him. Thank you. 